So, uh, Armin explained it using a lot fancier words than I can remember or even pronounce, but I'll try my best to explain it. Um, they did tell me to not tell too many people. Maybe they told me not to tell anyone. No, I think it was just don't tell too many people, and I know that you can be trusted with this, right? Yeah, of course. Why wouldn't I be able to be trusted with this? Alright, good. So, um, you know how there are two typical genders, which is a boy and a girl? This isn't another one of those talks like the one that we had back in training and everyone got sick after, right? No, 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 it isn't anything like that. At least, I don't think it is. If it is, it wasn't explained to me that way at all. Um, but you know how there can be a boy and a girl and those are their genders? Um, yeah, I think so. Alright, so apparently that is what is called the gender, um... Damn it, I don't remember what it's called. I know it started with a B. It might have been the word bean, actually. Gender bean? Bean like bean from Sonny and Bean? I don't know. It's probably something a lot fancier than that. But you know I can hardly remember anything that isn't food related. So let's just say bean for now. So that is the gender bean where it's either strictly male or female, boy or girl. Um, and their gender is something that isn't either of those things, so it's outside of the gender being. Okay, but how can someone not be a boy or a girl? If you're born either a boy or a girl, doesn't that mean you have to be a boy or a girl? No, actually. Because you can also be born both, apparently. Apparently, there are some people who are born with both male and female body parts, or who are born with both male and female chromosomes, I think it was. What is a chromosome? I don't know, probably something food-related. Sasha, I don't think it's food-related. Shut up and let me explain. Okay, so, um... Since there are more than two, um, uh, sexes, there are also more than two genders, and your gender doesn't have to match your sex. Wait, so... So does that mean that just because, say, you were born a girl, you don't have to identify as a girl? Yes, that's exactly what it means. And then, um... It means that you can also identify as both... You can identify as neither, which is what is outside of the gender bean. I think both might also be outside of the gender bean. I'm not sure, actually, because at the same time, you are both sides of the gender bean, male and female, but at the same time, you're not one or the other. You're both, so it might be outside. I'm not sure, but um, basically that means that they don't use the, um, potatoes that normal, um, gender bean people use. Okay, you've lost me. Now I'm just getting hungry. Okay, okay, um, so, you know words like she, her, he, him, and they, them? Those are pronouns, Sasha, not potatoes. I know, but I was blanking on the word and I'm hungry, okay? that and I knew it started with a P, so I just said potatoes. Okay, so the pronouns that they use are different than what they used before. Is that why you're also referring to them as they? Yes, exactly. Those are the pronouns that they use now. So because they don't identify as male or female, they don't use she, her, or he, him. Okay... So, they go by they, them. Yes, exactly. And, ah, uh, there was a specific word for what they are. It wasn't male or female. It was, um, it was non-bean, or whatever the original word was. Non-bean? Oh. 
okay, that doesn't sound like it's the right word for that gender, but, um, okay. Yeah, I know. Like I said, it was probably something a lot fancier, but I can't remember those fancy words. And, uh, as I said, I'm getting very hungry. I'm actually gonna go and get something to eat. I'm sure they'll come by to explain it to you at some point, and they'll use a lot fancier words than I did. Um, okay, um, bye? Well, that was really weird. Uh, oh, we found you! Alright, um, hi, Connie, um, we had something we wanted to talk to you about. Oh, um, what a coincidence, I was actually just looking for you two. Um, Sasha just explained something to me, and she said that you two would probably come by to explain it a bit better later. Oh boy, um, what exactly did she try to explain? Um, she was explaining to me that, um, they, um, they, right? Yes, I got it. Um, that they don't identify as male or female. Yes, actually, that's exactly what we were coming to talk to you about. Ah, huh, how handy. I uh, guess you don't really need to explain much more, though. She just messed up a few words, but um, I think I've got a pretty basic understanding of it. Um, I think you'd better relay that explanation to us, because I love Sasha, but... When she's hungry, and she did say earlier that she was starting to get hungry and that she might look for a snack, she doesn't always remember specific details, unless they're about food. Yeah, that's exactly what she said, actually. Um, the thing is, she said that you were something called non-bean, right? I'm sorry, she said... She actually used the word non-bean? Yeah, is that not correct? No. No, that is not correct. Why did she say non-bean? Well, she said that because they... I got it right again. That they aren't within the gender bean because they don't identify as male or female. The gender... bean? I'm guessing that's not right either. No. No, it's, um... I mean... She, uh... She tried. And that explanation is still correct. It's just... A very, very incorrect word. Although, I suppose it is rather amusing. Um, what she meant to say was gender binary, and they're non-binary. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that sounds like it would make a lot more sense. Because, I mean, aren't all of us non-beans? We're humans, we're not beans. Unless, wait, are we human beings? Yeah, we're human beings, right? Human beings, Connie. We are... All technically non-beans, yes, because we aren't beans, but we are human beings, not human beans. Yeah, that makes a lot more sense. I kind of understand why Jean was poking fun at me the other day now. Yeah. Well, um, okay then, so, uh, Sasha was right about you though, right? You go by they, them? Okay, um, so you can actually use they, them for one person, right? Because we always learned that you were only really supposed to use it for a group of people, but since you also use it when you don't know someone's gender, I guess it can be used for one person, but I just want to make sure that's correct. It is correct? Awesome. So, wait, does that mean you go by a different name now, too? Oh, cool, what is it? Huh. That is a very interesting name. I like it, though. Um, do you think you could write it down for me, though? I, uh, 
there's a chance that I might forget and call you by your old name, and I really don't want to do that, so could you write it down for me? Sweet, thanks. All right, I will commit this to memory. Connie? Huh? You're not going to commit it to memory by just pressing the paper against your head? That's, uh, that's not how you memorize things? No, that's sometimes how you concentrate while holding something, but that isn't how you memorize something. Oh. That explains why I did so terribly on most of the written exams and training, then. Well, the more you know. Yeah, you might have learned that a bit too late. <laughs> oh, well. I guess as long as I learn it eventually, that's better than nothing, right? Yeah. Yeah, I guess it's better than nothing. So, um, can I ask you a really quick question? I can? Sweet. So... During her explanation, Sasha was explaining to me that just because someone is born a boy or a girl, they don't have to identify as a boy or a girl, which is why you can be non-binary, right? Okay, so then does that mean that if you're born a boy, you can identify as a girl, and if you're born a girl, you can identify as a boy? Interesting. And then, can you be born non-binary? Not exactly. Right, right. And that leads me to wonder. What if you identify as both a boy and a girl? Then are you still kind of outside of the gender binary? Or are you still within it, but you just shift where you are in it. That's still a bit of a gray area. Okay, well, that still answers my question better than Sasha did. Um, so are you always going to identify as non-binary, or when it changes once, does that mean that it's more likely to change again? It's always equally likely to change? Okay, then. So, does that mean that I might wake up tomorrow and feel like I'm actually a girl? Maybe? That would be kind of cool, actually. Be like a shapeshifter, just like Aaron! Oh, that's not how it works? Well, uh, okay, then. I guess I'll take your word for it. It would still be pretty neat, though, right? Oh, you need to get going? All right, well, um, say, do you think that maybe you and I could meet up later and you could explain this a bit more to me? I, uh, I love Sasha and all, but, uh, that explanation about non-being and the gender being and using potatoes like she, her, and he, him, that was probably the most confusing conversation I've ever had, and even though this was great, this was a good explanation, I still do not understand anything at all.